G'day ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to Wood, Brass and Glue on Land GXV6 and we're continuing on with the Scottish made build. So the last episode we put the tiller and all the tiller gear uh, onto the boat, uh, onto the model I should say. Um, and if you've managed to actually get this far without making too many mistakes, congratulations because you've actually just done essentially the hardest part of the model. Not the most annoying part, but the hardest part. Uh, and that is actually to build that hole and get it, uh, get that shape that you want. Because uh, any mistakes you make in the hole uh, at this point are going to show up. So if you got this far, well done. So for today, we will be looking at the deck fittings themselves. If I can hit the right button, woohoo, the right button. So as you can see on the picture in front of you, I have now gone and put the pin racks and the stays. I haven't actually put the bling. Um, uh, um, now I just totally forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I haven't put the bling pins in at this particular stage and I haven't done the dead eye stage yet. This is just the fitting. So I took the plans out. I found where all the eye bolts are on the deck. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we've put in where the anchor uh, cable will be coming out, the horse pipe. Uh, the little Scottish made figurine has now been fitted. I have, there's nothing else really up on the bow except for a couple of uh, more eye bolts that need to go in. Um, some block and tackle up there as well, but essentially there's nothing there where that statue is, uh, where the bow spirit is, that I need to touch. Um, the actual bow spirit itself doesn't touch that figurine. It goes above it. Um, so, yeah, feel free. Put it on. Uh, unless, of course, you think you're going to knock it, um, but you should be right. Coming down to the back section of the aft section, you can see the eye bolts for the handrails on the port side have now been put in. Um, in the kit, or in my kit, uh, I have two sizes of brass rods. I'm not too sure what the other brass rod, the thicker brass rod is for. But um, on the plans, it calls for the 0 0.8. Uh, which is the thinner of the brass rods. It's the same stuff that we make the uh, made the shaft from uh, for the tiller. So, yeah, essentially it's just four eye bolts and you run a piece of brass wire uh, through and glue it into uh, position. The thicker brass wire that comes in the kit uh, isn't big enough, uh, isn't long enough to actually make all four brass eyes. Um, it only just makes the three. Uh, which is why I'm scratching my head a little bit as to what that brass rod is for. I can't really see a reason for it, but other than uh, one of the cabin fittings has uh, a chimney uh, coming out the top. But even still, that's like you know, uh, half a centimetre high. It could be a mistake in the, in the packaging. It could be, I don't know, any. The forehead capstan has been built. Um, I don't have photos of the build of the forehead capstan. Um, apologies on that. Um, a little camera error. Even on this one, you can see I've got my thumb over where the, the lens is. The draws a drawback of using a, a mobile phone. Sometimes you hit your fingers in the wrong place. However, this is the full construction. Um, port and starboard sides, as you can see, uh, for the staunchens are actually a two-piece. Uh, they're pre-cut. Uh, they're on your H HTC um, sheet. HCT, whichever way, way you want to look at it. Uh, essentially, you just pop those things out. Uh, I joined the two together uh, before doing anything. Keep in mind, where you actually see the capstan uh, running across port starboard, there is no shaft in there. Okay, 
there's no shaft there's no shaft um, in the plans to put in there uh, and the wooden blocks themselves that make up the caps and are actually solid they, they don't have a hole through them um, I did try to drill a hole through the middle uh, to make a shaft to essentially get it straight but uh, um, did go terribly well so the pin rack and if I go back one photo um, you can see the uh, pin rack itself I have three sets of pins port and starboard side the photo that they use shows four holes but only three pins and the actual plans uh, show three pins for your tie-offs so yeah I just went with three um, and I also have noticed uh, and now that I've actually uh, uh, put all the blame pins into uh, uh, the racks uh, I actually don't have enough blame pins and I've gone through the plans and actually counted off and they didn't include enough blank pins in it uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem until the hobby store opens that is because according to the website uh, they actually do sell 7 millimeter 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter blank pin kits um, so next week I'll uh, go hit them up and uh, get some they're only an 18 pack that costs like seven bucks which is really pricey considering what they are but it is what it is so I would suggest at this point um, go have a look uh, in your kits lay the plans out uh, count up how many blame pins you actually need do not forget that you also have blame pins on the mass okay there is a rack um, I think it's on the arc mass. Um, but that has five pins. Off the top of my head, it's five pins. Um, I've only got two pins left. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get some. It doesn't hurt to uh, grab a packet, though. Moving on. Horrid Cabin. Item number 16. And there you go. There's all the part numbers. I was going to put the little text up and stuff. And it was like, well... It's there, it's on the sheet. You can see it. Um, and as you can see, I have actually laid it all out. So these are the parts you will be needing. Um, that thin uh, piece of, uh, what's it called? I've actually forgotten the name of the wood now, the, um, the lighter color one. You only have one piece of this. Um, do be very um, careful when you're using it. Uh, quite simply, you don't have much. They gave you one piece, and it's to do um, the forward cabin um, and the two aft cabins, and you only just have enough. And after we put it all together, basically all you're doing is you're uh, laying the walnut over the top of the of the fittings. Um, 85, 86, 87s, and 88s. 89 is the top hatch, and 91 is the door. Uh, the door gets uh, the walnut on it, the top hatch doesn't. And no, sorry, actually, the front door doesn't get uh, walnut, it's the aft door that, sorry. But you can see that uh, very thin strip that goes around the bottom. Be very mindful of that. Moving on to the hatch number 17. You need two of these. Even though the plans that showed the build one, there should be a marker on there that says times two. You would I suppose if you looked at the sheet, you'd see that you needed two of them. But again, it's the similar thing. It's uh two of your 93s. Um the thin walnut covering and now you're also using the 1.5 millimeter uh, walnut stripping to go around the other edge so one hatch as you can see i've just uh, done the covering on the other hatch has been covered and i'm now putting the walnut stripping around the side 
three holes, pull it started, drop some pins in, snip them off, and then glue it to the deck. That's the forward one, and there's the aft one. Now, I've also taken the barrel and put the barrel onto the deck. There's nothing you have to do to the barrel. Um, I did notice in the photo that the band, you can see there is a band um, at the top and bottom of the barrel. Um, they'd actually colored that in, so I just grabbed the marker pen and well, colored it in, made it look like a band. I was going to try wrap brass around that. I gave it a good shot. Apparently big figures and small pieces of brass don't really work so well. And onto the final part for this is part 19. Uh, and this is going to be for the boat. Exactly the same as the um, small hatches, except in this case it's bigger. It's part 100. Again, your walnut sides, your thin stuff, the eye bolts, a little bit of rope and the boat. So this is actually a test fit. I put the um, bound stone uh, fittings on and then tested it over the top of the uh, wood structure that we previously glued on to the hat, uh, onto the deck, uh, only to find out that at some point of the drawing, um, those raised sections had actually bowed out slightly. Um, so what I'm doing is basically fit the hatch down, see where it does fit, where it doesn't fit, um, and then I'm lightly sanding it down on the inside uh, just to shape it. And again, it's monkey see, monkey do. Make the hatch, surround the hatch, give it a sand, put the pins in, put the boat down, uh, and as you can see, the boat has now been painted brown. Uh, this is probably the only piece of paint that I'm actually going to use. All the black uh, parts that you can see on the boat are actually done by um, permanent marker. Now, I found that actually works really, really well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is part one to the deck fittings. Um, there's not really much I can actually say about it. I do did enjoy it. I, this part now is going to go so quickly, and it's now bringing out the model. You can now see uh, how this thing is going to look, how it's going to feel. Um, and we don't have that much really to go. Part two will be uh, finishing up on the deck fittings. Um, and we'll have a look at all the bits and pieces that are going on there. I, and then after that, We'll be doing, I think the episode after that will be the bow spirit. Um, and we'll get that part done. And then we're basically into making the masts and uh, booms and jibs. Again, I uh, don't see a big problem with these. And that's really when we get to the masts and that we're going to give that little mini lather a bit of a workout. See if it actually works. Let's just say I don't really have high hopes for this. I am hoping it does work how, how, how I'm expecting, but I've never used a lathe before, ever. Um, and most of the booms, jibs, and mast sections are actually going to fit in uh, the working section of the lathe. So I've got to find a workaround for that. So it should be interesting. But as I said, that's uh, a future episode, and uh, I will be doing live video for that one. It was more than like me. Um, it'd be slightly amusing as I break masks and have them fly across the room and hopefully don't stab myself with the thing. So if you like the video, of course, guys, please do the thumbs up. It uh, helps out the channel immensely. Uh, if you're new to the channel uh, or you haven't done so yet, please press subscribe. It helps the uh, YouTube algorithm out. Um, don't forget to press notification and hit that bell. That way you get your notifications when new videos go up. Uh, if you haven't already and you wish to, I do have a Discord uh, available. Uh, details will be down below or will pop up on the screen if I remember to put the thing up there, but it will be down uh, below in the information uh, box. Feel free to come over and join the Discord. Um, you can talk, chat, 
it has uh, audio capability, I believe video capability is coming very shortly as well. Um, so you can do video chat. Uh, but it, I do have a section in there for uh, members to put their own pictures and video, post their own videos up as well, uh, to give you know, other people an idea of how well they're going. Because um, I'd really like to see how people are progressing with it. Is this video helping? And on that note, don't forget to do comments. Because, hey, always good to see comments. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, everyone's been following safe.